know what an egg actually is from a hen? And don't say embryo or aborted fetus, not even close. It's unfertilized, so it can't be either. Hen is a female, though. Unfertilized egg through a female system. It's part of her menstruation cycle. It's a hen's period. People scramble up hen periods in the morning, and all of a sudden, I'm weird because I don't make omelets anymore. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alex Scarfe, and today I'm gonna be telling you exactly why I went vegan. Today is October 1st, 2019, and it is my four year vegan anniversary. My journey to a vegan diet started probably in 2012, right after I tore my ACL. I'm gonna put a picture up of my ACL. I'll have to warn you, it is pretty disgusting. So if you guys don't wanna see that, skip about five, 10 seconds. I know it's a disgusting picture as you guys can see, but right after I tore my ACL, I really started focusing more on my diet, but I did not go vegan right away. So I just started eating more plant-based foods and I noticed that I was getting a lot healthier. And about two years in, I got my blood work done and everything came out really good. Aside from vitamin D being low, I wasn't in the sun a lot. And if I was, it wasn't at the right time, but all in all, my cholesterol was good. Everything was good. The doctor said there was nothing really to worry about. And it wasn't until about 2015, October 1st, when I saw the best speech you'll ever hear by Gary Urofsky. So I always was tiptoeing around the vegan idea, but I was never able to fully commit. And it's because I never made that connection to the animals. After watching Gary Urofsky's speech, I was sold. I went vegan right away. I was eating a bowl of chicken noodle soup. And as we got to the part where he was showing the animals and the cruelty and whatnot, I had to put it down. I didn't even finish the soup at all. And I'm being completely honest when I say that. I put it down and I stopped eating it and I said, no more animal products. So now it's been exactly four years since the day I went vegan and I feel great. I'm in the gym all the time. I play basketball on the weekends. I'm always active and I'm always moving around and I never feel a lack of energy. I got my blood work done about three months ago. You guys can check a video down below. It was my four years vegan blood work and it's, it was about three years and eight months at that time, but I didn't want to put that in the title. So I just put four years because I rounded up and you can see everything came out fine in that video. So after four years, we are still looking good and I don't plan to change anytime soon. I do take supplements. I take a B12 supplement and a vitamin D3 supplement and the vitamin D3 is vegan as is the B12. I'll put two pictures up here so you guys can see them. They are the Mary Ruth's organic brand and it's a great brand in my opinion. I've been using it for about five months now and I love it and the price is pretty good as well. I got them on amazon.com and to, to retouch bases on the video that I saw the best feature ever here by Gary Urofsky, I just wanted to say there were some parts in the video that really stuck out to me and the first thing that stuck out to me was towards the end when it really hit me was when he was saying it's selfish if you're doing it for health right he was saying that it should be about the animals it shouldn't be about us keep in mind veganism isn't about your health that would be selfish i'm trying to get people to be unselfish for a change to be altruistic do something kind for somebody else and when you do that don't expect something in return and that's really what struck me. So when I first went vegan, I did do it for the animals. And after you go through the whole process of switching out your diet and everything, you start to realize you're feeling better, you got more energy, and you don't impact the environment as much. So it's a win-win in all situations. And I don't even like calling it a plant-based diet or a vegan diet because it sounds restrictive when you use the word diet. I get to eat all the foods that I like to eat, even all the foods that I used to eat as a meat eater. Now they're just plant-based and cruelty-free, which makes them that much better. And most of the time they have fiber in them, which is also a plus because if you look at one of the reasons why our health isn't that great as a nation, it's because we don't intake as much fiber as we should in a day. Everyone is so worried about protein, 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 and no one's even thinking about fiber, which is ridiculous because fiber is one of the most important things things that you can have in your diet. I, I tell people that I eat around three to 600 grams of carbs per day, depending on if I'm eating a lot of food that day or not. And they just kind of freak out saying that's too many carbs. And people don't realize that we have carbohydrate digesting enzymes in our saliva. So it only makes sense that that is the food that is meant for our body. Obviously, I'm not talking about refined carbohydrates by any means. I'm talking about whole fruits, vegetables, legumes, grains, nuts, and seeds you know, carbohydrates from actual whole foods, not from white bread and whatnot. Yes, I still eat some white bread, some white flour tortillas every once in a while, but most of the time I try to stick to the whole grain bread. So you get more fiber when you eat it, opposed to just getting plain old white bread. And another part of his speech that really stuck out to me was when he was talking about how people kind of judge you or try to poke holes through your lifestyle, you know, don't you miss this? Don't you miss that? And I, I always have an honest answer. Like, no, I don't miss that at all because when I know what happens to those animals, it's really hard to miss a food when when you have such a strong why on why you're vegan. It's just, it's just really hard. It's almost like a traumatic experience. If you've ever had a traumatic experience, you're gonna be like, no, I will never do that again. I refuse, you know, and you'll just avoid it at all costs. And that's pretty much how I feel about animal products after seeing all the cruelty that gets done to them and just understanding what they go through just so I can have a few seconds of pleasure when I take a bite of something or, you know, 10, 15, 
15 minutes while I'm eating a meal, it's definitely not worth it for me, especially when it's impacting my health in a negative way as well. So I never look back about that. And another part that he mentioned in the speech was when he was saying people think you're weird for eating you know, a tofu burger or eating a veggie burger or vegan cheese and whatnot, and they try to put it down as if it's something weird that you're eating a plant-based alternative, when if you think about how their food got to their plate. The standard diet of a meat eater is blood, flesh, veins, muscles, tendons, cow secretions, hen periods, and bee vomit? <laughs> and people think vegans are weird because we eat tofu and rice and beans and lentils? It's pretty repulsive and when people tell me, oh, if you want a burger, why don't you just eat meat? Why would you eat a veggie burger? I'm like, well, you're not just eating a burger that was a cow with fur on it and hair and bones and then you grind it up after you take the exact cut that you want and then make it into a burger and then call it that. I mean, come on, that, that was not a burger from the field. It didn't come naturally like that and obviously I know the plants didn't come naturally like that either, but it's much different to grind down some plants than to grind down <laughs> some beef from an animal, which is pretty freaking disgusting if I'm being completely honest, but you know, to each his own. I, I wanna spread the message. I wanna make a positive impact in the world. I don't believe that we need animals to survive, and if we did need them to survive, honestly, I would eat them, but the list of science and the studies that are not funded or biased proves that a plant-based diet is one of the healthiest diets and you can eat. It's also the only diet that is proven to reverse heart disease. You guys can look all this stuff up. It's all out there, and the only studies that really come out to ever bash on these plant-based studies are usually funded by the animal agriculture industry or the egg industry and whatnot. So do your research and make sure you're looking at who's writing these articles or who the articles are funded by or who the studies are funded by better yet. There's a lot of information out there and there's also a lot of misinformation out there. So you really have to be careful when you're doing your research. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to conclude the video. I don't want it to be a long one where I'm rambling so much, but I feel great. Four years vegan, not looking back ever. We're still making gains, lifting heavier in the gym as we go. So everything is looking good and I will continue to update you guys on how I feel and I will do a physique update here soon. The abs are coming in. Can't wait to show you guys that, but we got to keep working and get them stronger and stronger. So I hope you guys stick around with me. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. If you're vegan, how long have you been vegan? When did you go vegan? What made you go vegan? I would love to know those answers. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Deduce.